so today is a new day and we're going to go to Hobby Lobby which is over half hour away so I never go there I haven't been there in like a year or two and we have a special guest today it's my mama say hi mommy hi <laughs> <laughs> all masked up and ready to go sign over here with your seat I like green. these I feel like I should get one of these for the girls' room. Huh? So I feel like I should get one of these for the girls' room. What is this? The rainbow? Yeah. This is cute. This one? Right? Yeah, it's gray and pink. Right? And I like the hexagon. The shape, the, that's why I like it, because of the shape. And it's 40% off. I was trying to be good. I was trying to be good. But it's too cute. This one's broken, but there's other ones. Oh, unicorns. Magic. There's three in one. That's and cute. They're separate. $24.99 for this one. Josh is gonna kill me. <laughs> a high chair for her first birthday, oh. see? But that's a cupcake. But it's made out of tool. I can make something like that. I don't want to do cupcakes. She's we're doing cocoa melon. That's cute. cute, right? So I just need the idea of it. See what I can come up with. This looks like, yeah, all stuff for first birthday. But the colors don't match. I need, like, rainbow. Oh, this is cute, too. Look at the cupcake stand. Look at unicorn horns. That's cute. Mermaid. Are these the same size? Yeah. I like how everything matches. Finally, what we came for. Ribbon galore. This is what I've been wanting. Glitter ribbon. And they're 50% off? Okay, about to do some damage. All shopped out, went to Hobby Lobby, spent what, like an hour or two in there? Mm -hmm. In Hobby Lobby, I got all my glitter ribbon I needed. Went to Kohl's to find some clothes for Elena. They had nothing, so we're gonna have to try another Kohl's. And we shopped up an appetite, so now it's time to stop and eat. Five guys, even though I shouldn't be eating this, but I had to take extra insulin. And I can't eat all of it, of course. So I didn't get to finish filming while we were shopping because we had errands to run to. We ended up, we were out for like over 10 hours. There was so much. I ended up um, having an eye doctor appointment for the first time in like three years. I haven't had my eyes checked. I've been using these same glasses for three years. I'm tired of them. I had to get them from an eye doctor that I don't like. I didn't like their selection. And I had to get these from the men's section because my face is like wide. So I can't use frames that are all like tiny. It makes my face look even worse. And then the glasses end up like this. So I had to get the men's section and I've been hating them for three years. So my prescription didn't change, which is good because my prescription always used to change because my eyes are really pretty bad. I have bad astigmatism and I did get new glasses. I have to wait like two weeks to get them in because my lenses are so bad, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, they're really nice. They were expensive, but I have good insurance, but I still had to come out of pocket some. They're Versace. I've never had anything Versace. I've never had anything like real name brands, like besides like Nike before. So I'm really excited. Um, I had to like FaceTime my husband Josh while I was there, like to say like, hey, do these look good? Do these look good? And when I put those on, he was just like, ooh, it's like the queen of Zamunda in here. So he's funny, he's weird. But anyway, F felt good. So I was like, you know what? These are the ones. 
So hopefully in about two weeks you'll get to see my new glasses. Let me know what you think when you when you see them. But anyways, so it was a very long day. We got a lot done. I got a Sam's Club membership for the first time ever. It's a wholesale club if you don't have that in your country. But yeah, so I feel like a real adult. Like I feel like that's next level adulting is when you get a Sam's Club membership. So there we have it. But anyways, um, what I did finish from Hobby Lobby, I did get 10 of these baskets. They were only like $2.99 and then they were like 50% off. And like, look how cute and the color and everything so because when I finally finish that other room of the basement these are gonna go on there to hold something for my new business that you'll see set up once I get there and then finally I love their ribbon section at Hobby Lobby I'd never been to it before so now I see what your girls are always talking about but I was able to get different colored glitter ribbon so excited and this is for Atlanta's first birthday, which is coming up. She's 10 months old now. My baby is 10 months old. Where did that happen? So this is for her first birthday, which is in two months. So I'm trying to get prepared now because at the same time, her, the day after sh her birthday, the day after her first birthday is the day that I'm due. I don't think I'm going to make it that far because of all the complications. But regardless, I'm going to be nine months pregnant. I'm going to be ready to pop. So I'm trying to get started on everything now to not wait till then when I'm not going to want to do anything. So I got my glitter ribbon. I'm very excited. I had fun with my mom at Hobby Lobby. She's the one who made me get 10. Because I was like, oh, how many should I get? And I was like, oh, how about I get six? Nah, let me get eight. She's like, well, you might as well get 10. I'm like, that's why I can't take you nowhere. Because you make me spend more money. But I got 10. And I'm happy. The last thing I'm going to show you um, when I go upstairs. Because I have to go fold laundry because I've been doing laundry. Is um, all of Elena's new clothes. So she's firmly in 18 month clothes now. She has pajamas and onesies, but she didn't have like outfits that fit her anymore. So I had to get like eight new outfits at Kohl's. Of course, they're all Disney outfits. I'm very happy and very excited. But I had to, wa you know, take all the tags off. I had to wash them. So I did that. So now I have to um, sort them, iron them, because I'm going to put them in hangers. And I don't like putting clothes in hangers that don't get ironed, at least for her. So that when I go to put clothes on her, they're really nice and ironed. I can put them on. Don't make fun of me. I, I was raised ironing. So I'll show you some of her outfits. And that's about all that I got that day, you know, besides like stuff from Sam's Club, like some food and diapers and stuff like that. Um, and that will conclude our shopping video once I show you all that. Whew, it has been a long day. I've had so much to do, so much homework. I finally just now finished laundry and finished ironing all of Elena's new clothes. So I can finally get, show you my haul, my, my Kohl's Disney little girls clothes haul those are hard words for me to say i'm not even gonna try it anymore so here we go so first outfit we have the classic anna and elsa frozen which she better get used to it because since she's getting a little sister we're gonna be doing a lot of frozen and one thing to note about these outfits is that they don't necessarily go together i just kind of put them together they were all stuff like on the shelves at Kohl's. So this is Disney, but the pants aren't. But hey, they work out. Next, we have Minnie Mouse, which her baby shower was Minnie Mouse. So almost all of her things anywhere are Minnie Mouse. So she's used to her. That's her girl. And I love the rainbow stars. Now the pants, if you glance quickly, you're like, oh, it matches. Because there is a set of Minnie Mouse pants that match exactly. They look almost exactly like this. But if you look closely, there's stars, stars, but then we have unicorns and not Minnie Mouse. So the other pants had Minnie Mouse where you see the unicorns. They didn't have those in her size, which is now 18 months. So I got the unicorns and if you just look fast, maybe you won't notice. Next we got the 101 Dalmatians. I love them. And they didn't really have pants to match, so I just put it together with some glitter or black leggings. Because a girl can never have too much glitter in her life. For the record, I really never wanted girls. Let's be honest. Like, I always saw myself being like a boy mom. You know, I was always into sports and a lot of boy things growing up. So I expected to be a boy mom. But here I am, completely embracing the girl mom life. Making sure my baby girl got glitter and, uh... Ruffles wherever possible. 
Next, oh, I love this one. This one is so cute. Look at mini. I love this color, like a seafoam green, plus the gold in there. It's like metallic. I love it. It doesn't exactly go with these leggings, but I don't know. They're just too cute. I'm making it match. I feel like it matches. Do you think it matches? I don't know, but I love it. Next, of course, we got another Minnie Mouse. This one's Minnie's Winter Collection. And I made it match with these pants because look how cute. It's like a holographic silver on the side. I love that. Oh my goodness. Next is another mini, but this time it's Minnie and Mickey with a glitter gold heart. And look at these pants. I love these pants. They're just like glitter and classy. I love the signature line. I just love them. Next, we have the Little Mermaid Ariel. One of my favorites growing up because I'm a 90s kid. Find your voice. I love that. And I just made it match with some glitter pink leggings. And finally, last but not least, another Little Mermaid. But this one is more um, cute drawn, I guess. Instead of like more accurate like the last one. And we got Flounder with his cute self. Got a little bit of glitter in here. And then I just made a match with these like kind of cotton candy tie-dye leggings. I don't know if it completely goes, but I think it's cute. So we're going to make it work. So there you have it. That's my haul. My baby girl got eight new outfits. She doesn't, even, she doesn't go anywhere. She doesn't have time to wear all of these. But we're just going to put them on. We're going to play dress up. And this will be better than her staying pajamas all day because she wears like onesies. Now that she's crawling and even starting to try and stand, she's 10 months, walking is coming soon. So it's better for her to be in outfits that she can move around more easily in. So that's all I have for this video. It's not my usual type, but I want to try my hand at something a little bit different. So hopefully you like it. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon.